What's going on everybody? Thank you for stopping by the Zero to 60 YouTube channel. Today we are working on Mr. Uh, 133.7's Q60, aka Kirk. And we are installing, as you can see, some rear cam camera arms supplied by Z1. Obviously, we paid for them, but, you know, we have to say supplied by them because that's where they were purchased. But, uh, yeah. Got, us. Yeah. Shout out to the plug. Uh, they got also little grease fittings, which not all camera arms have. That's really cool that those have that um, on both of them. That's really cool. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and install these. They also sent, I think, uh, Loctite and some uh, extra bolts that they, that they don't require, but they recommend them. So we're going to see what these special bolts are all about. And he's already added over here. Now... Guys, take a note. If you've paid attention to the videos before, you notice that I, I have an air compressor and air tools. Toolbox, compressor. This is how real mechanics Kirk, four way. <laughs> what you know about that? Like he's modeling, look. Like he's modeling. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and hop in and turn this apart. You guys will obviously get some footage in between. We're gonna let you guys know what you have to do. You guys may have done this before. We have not. This is the first for us on this car. So unlike Hondas and other cars, I've installed them. But on an Infinity, I've never done it before. So let's see how it goes. See you guys in a minute. Show you guys what we're working with underneath here before we pull it apart. Some Megan Racing full bodies. And let's see what we're taking off and replacing. Where are they back here? Right I'm there. Right here. Right there. That one down down there. Point to it again. Seems like, yeah, Boop. that one right there. We're gonna go ahead and bang these out really quick. Obviously, you guys can see that there's gonna be one bolt holding it there. And I'm pretty sure there's just one bolt holding it right there. So that's about it. We're gonna go ahead and bang these out and hopefully get it done in time to also get an alignment done on the car and put the rear wheels on the car also. So let's see, see you guys in a minute. All right, so he's going ahead and removing the first bolt in the front here. Push down on it, push down on it. Just put all your weight on it. Almost. Keep going. There you go. Now that that bolt's removed, all he's gonna have to go ahead and do is remove that rear one, and the stock ones are out. You can break it loose first. There you go. Yes, guys, I'm showing him. He knows how to work on a car, but he's never used a uh, air ratchet before, so I do not want him to hurt himself. I was just giving him some tips with it. Holy shit. Alright, so when you guys go to remove that bolt right up there you need to remove the little keyway that you they use to set the camber on from the factory you need to remove that and then you can tap the bolt out and fyi you do not need to remove the sway bar if once you get one side of the bolt out of the groove right here it moves enough to pass over the top of it as long as you rotate the bolt it'll slide right over the top and I'm guessing that's why they give you the new bolts so you don't have to fight with the adjustments on those. Damn compressor. And now, obviously, you're going to want to at least adjust them to the factory settings so you can at least drive the car to get it aligned properly and everything else. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do now. All right, now here are the bolts that they give you. Here's a bolt. Here's a bolt, or here's a nut, and they give you four of these. Now, these are gonna go in replacement of what your 
little stock knuckles, like this one right here. It's basically going in replacement of this. So they give you four of these, you're gonna put these on the outside part towards the inside of the body, but on the outside of where they bolt up. So we'll go ahead and show you a video once it's assembled. All right, so, so now what he's doing is he's fighting to line it up a little bit. So he's taking a bigger screwdriver or a pry bar, whatever you prefer to use, and just lining it up so he can guide the bolt in and it goes in through the other side. Where's my metal plate thing? So now you guys can see how that little adjustment plate goes in there, it slides right in between the grooves. And you put the one on the back side already. I'm trying to make sure it's actually on there, right? Okay. All right, now he's just doing the final stage. Now I'm about to break my fucking hand. Why you got a curse? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Reset. Let it. Yeah, let it come back a little bit. Just tap the trigger. Tap. It. All right. Now push towards it. Hit that trigger. Alright, he's gonna finish tightening that up and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Obviously you guys don't need to see the other side. We'll show you once we're done completely installing both. See you guys in a minute. Why is it solid though? That's the tire going against the ground. Wow. That's almost right, so damn near identical to the stock one. All right, well, this side is all completed. Now he's, he's gonna go ahead, bang out this side, and yeah, get this done really quick. You having some uh, technical difficulties there? Yeah. What? I'm gonna cry. Okay, so I definitely thought he was joking. He's sitting there trying to use the air ratchet, and he's banging it, and I'm like, what is he banging it for? He couldn't get it to work. This dumbass couldn't hook up the hose. <laughs> Quick bit of uh, Mexico. Quick bit of Mexico action for y'all. You know. Okay, this is sort of gonna be good. We're gonna see what this is like. See you guys in a minute. So this bolt on eighth gen would definitely be a lot faster if he was tuned by the right person. Yeah. Right here, guys. Is that the race? Yeah. G's pulling away from the Genesis also. What a clean win! Bomb! Full bolt on 8th gen SI versus 9th gen SI.